Hi, I'm Nicholas Lodge and would like to introduce you to my Flower Pro Peony and Tulip Mold and Vena. So this uh, innovative product can be used to obviously create peonies and also create uh, obviously tulips, okay? And um, so here we have obviously there is small, medium, medium, large and extra large. And these are the petals we would use for tulips or for peonies. This is the center for the Oriental Peony. So if you check out my YouTube with Katie Sue Designs Flower Pro um, on the Oriental Peony, you'll see how I use this. And then if you check out my Tulip, uh, the Parrot Tulip uh, YouTube from Katie Sue Designs or YouTube with uh, Flower Pro, um, you'll see how I use the uh, stigma. This is the top of the Tulip Center and also the little stamen mold. Now, in this segment, I'm going to show you the classic peony. So there are basically like two main varieties of peony, oriental style, which I have on a separate uh, YouTube, and that actually is a more open peony with stamens in the middle of it. And then we have the classic peony, which is the one used mostly for weddings, um, and uh, the one that is like a cabbage or almost like a Brussels sprout. It's a round, it's built on a round ball. Um, so we're gonna get started, first of all, by making the center. Now for the center of the peony, we're gonna use a ball of paste, all right? So this is a ball of uh, gum paste, flower modeling paste, okay? This needs to dry for basically eight to 12 hours because obviously it's a fairly large paste. Um, some people, and you can use an alternative, like a one and a half inch size styrene or styrofoam ball, which is something a lot of people do uh, because they wanted to work on it straight away. But I'm showing you how to do this with obviously uh, using paste, all right? So as long as you have this dry. So we're gonna start off with uh, three 18 gauge wires and I'm going to take these, these are half length wires and about 15 um, millimeters down from the top of the wire, okay, so 15 millimeters, just about, um, just over half of an inch, we're going to take with some half width floral tape. So I'm gonna just start here with my floral tape and just make sure before you really take down that this is approximately as at 15 millimeters, so just slide the tape down if needed. So you can see from the tip of the wire to where the tape starts is 15 millimeters. And then we're going to just um, tape down. Now this is the technique I found that works better for a ball shape. Uh, in some of my other um, segments and obviously YouTubes, like for example the center of the lily and the center of the tulip, I start off with three wires, obviously much thinner than this, for the trefoil shape, for the stigma for the top. Um, here, this is the technique I use for flowers like uh, Gerber daisies and sunflowers. Gerber daisy, typically I use three wires like this, the sunflower six. And then we're going to open this up, so just taking a pair of pliers. I'm gonna open this up with my pliers here. And I'm actually going to bring it down, so it actually is coming down, it's a little bit more than a right angle. So then the second one will come down like this. You'll see why in a second. Now when you're doing, for example, like when I do a sunflower or a Gerber daisy, the wire is going up there um, at around the 15 degree angle. Okay, but here we're actually just gonna bring this down. So it's almost like a crook like that. Okay, so a bit like a spider leg shape. And uh, then you're going to take a number 15 size ball of paste. So this is, um, as I said, sits in the size guide. So number 15 size. And um, if you have time to let these dry for two or three days, you could use half, half flour and modeling paste or gum paste and half sugar paste or fondant, so like 50-50 paste. And you can even, if you let these dry for like a week, you could even just use sugar paste or rolled fondant, okay? But obviously, depending on your time restraints or if you have the, when you need to work on them. So anyway, so what we're gonna do now is going to just take the egg white on here or edible glue onto there. I'm just gonna just take this, I'm gonna thread this down through the top of this, okay? And you're gonna pull this down into, into here. So you pull it down into the top like this, all right? So it looks a little bit like a Chinese dumpling. And I'm gonna twist the wire, so I'm just gonna twist it so that the wires become a little bit embedded. And you're just gonna just pinch around the top here. Now you don't need to worry too much about this because it's going to, of course, be uh, covered, okay? So you're just going to basically just make this ball shape like this. And then what you would do here is once you've got the ball here, you're going to then put this, I generally put this into, you can stand this up or you can put it into like a crepe foam former like this, uh, just to dry, okay? Um, and you can do them upside down and this just sort of supports the weight of it, but you could also stand this into a cake dummy or a styrofoam block. 
on my Oriental Peony uh, instructions or uh, you, YouTube, I show how to obviously make these wired. Here we're going to do um, basically some of these petals unwired for the first part to create almost like the cabbage or the Brussels sprout shape. And then we're going to do some wired following the directions from the Oriental Peony. So we're going to start off with a number 7S size ball of paste. So it's going to be a number 7 small. All right, so that just wants to just go through the number seven hole. And then you would measure off another four balls the same size and put those underneath a little cup, okay? Uh, because we're gonna be making five of these. I'm going to, when we make the peony, so the technique is exactly the same. Um, the only difference is we're just omitting putting a wire in, okay? So when you make the wired petals or unwired petals the same. You're gonna make this into a little, almost like an elongated cone shape or like a carrot shape which wants to be about two thirds of the height of the mold, okay, or the cow of the recess. And then you've got, I'm um, gonna put just a little cornstarch onto that, corn flour, and then you can either press the back of the vein of the flat side down, just press that onto it to flatten it, or you can actually just place it into the carrot, place it into the, the um, actual cavity, and you can press it in while it's in the cavity, okay? So whichever you prefer to do. So if you don't have a little silicone mat, this is probably the option I would suggest. Then we're going to take your, here, we're gonna use your cosmetic sponge. I'm just gonna just push the paste to the edge of the mold. So this will give it thinner, this will make it thinner on here. So if you watch my Oriental Peony um, it, uh, YouTube, you'll see how then I create like a little ridge with my fingers here, and then I would insert the wire. So you dip your wire into egg white, insert it into there, then you press the veiner on the back, um, and then take it out. But everything else is exactly the same, it's just we're not putting a wire into these, because we don't need wires on the original, the initial petals. So then what we're gonna do is gonna take the back of the veiner, just gonna line that up, I'm just gonna press this on. Okay, so this is gonna come out of the veiner. Now, you can see this is a heavier vein in, this is a slightly lighter vein in, so you'll see this also used on the wire. So on the, the side that's facing you, so when you take it out of the mold, don't turn this over, just on the lightly side, heavy, less vein side, we're going to use your Dresden tool, and with your Dresden tool, we're going to now frill the top half of the petal. So you're gonna use your Dresden tool on its side, all right, and we're gonna just sort of frill around the top half of the petal. So this is done on the, basically the, what will be the back of the petal. You're then gonna turn this pad over, the mini pad, you're gonna turn it over. So now you see we're on the heavy vein side, and then we're just gonna work from the outside to the inside. So this is gonna create your lovely petals, okay? Now, when you make the peony, so remember we need five of the small size. So then what I would normally do is just put that underneath another cup so you just would put it underneath another cup, then you would then do the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, okay? Uh, you could also put these into a small zip top bag. So as you make them, you can put them into a small zip top bag like this. So actually, so you need six of these petals, all right? So six of these petals total uh, for this uh, first one. Now on the Oriental Peony, I used five because those were wide, but here we're using six. So we start off with six, number seven small size balls of paste for the, uh, for the first stage. Now, we're going to uh, take those petals, all right, so I have some already made here. And on the first six petals, we're going to actually have the heavier vein in, which is here. That will be actually on the outside, okay? So this is the heavier vein in. So we're actually gonna turn your petals over to the less vein side. You can see this side, this side doesn't, it's not quite as heavy, okay? You can just have those underneath a little cup. Let's put that one there as well, okay? And then we're going to start building these. Now, what we're going to do is going to take the first two petals. All right, we're going to do two petals at a time. And generally, I would just pop those onto a little pad like this, or a larger pad. And I'm going to brush some egg white. So on these first ones, I'm going to brush the egg white just sort of really over about two-thirds of the way down the petal. Now, on the first stage of the peony, we want to, these petals to like overlap. So they either they can go like this or like this but they're gonna basically come up so they're gonna cover over the center. So this is almost like the center where the dot is, where the wire went in. So you see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come up a little bit past it. And I'm just gonna sort of pinch the petals so you create this like little uh, pleats in here. And then you're gonna take the other one. You see that's just gonna come over the other side so it's gonna cover over the top of this. And again, you're just gonna pleat this like this. And of course, these first petals are not coming down very far, okay? Because you're building on top of the uh, ball, okay? Then you're going to then take 
another two pedals. So you do like two at a time. So you're going to do two of these pedals here. And you're going to, now on these ones here, all you need to do is just brush your egg white just down in like three lines. Side, down the middle, about two thirds of the way down, but just a line, a line, a line. The first ones you need to brush egg white all over two thirds because obviously there's a little bit more contact. Now, what we're going to do is, with my, my thumb is, we're going to put one pedal here and one pedal there, then the fifth, fifth pedal and the sixth pedal here, okay? So you're just going to just place the pedals. So these will come down just a little tiny bit lower, okay? And again, you can see how I'm doing these like little pleats onto here. So you're just going to do some little pleats onto these pedals just to make sure that they're so you see how you're just going to push these on to so create this almost like a cabbage style. You know, some people actually call this cabbage style peony. But so remember, on these, um, on these first six pedals we're doing, the heavier veining will be on the outside, okay? And then your last two pedals will come here. So we're here and here. So remember, the heavy veining will be on the outside. So again, you're just going to brush some egg white. One, two, three. And then these will go on the opposite side here. I'm just going to just put this on. If you need a little tiny bit more egg white, you can do. But you're almost just squashing this up, so you see how you're going to create this nice shape, okay? And then the sixth and final petal will just go on here. But just create these little pleats on there. So it's just almost like just sort of pleating up the top, you see? So that's going to create the top of the peony. But you see, so these are the original, um, these are the original petal here and here, okay? And then you can see we have the two petals here, we have the two petals here, okay, which come down a little bit. Now, when you've done that, um, you want to then do the bud, if you wanted to make a bud. Now, when you make the bud, all right, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, watch the YouTube video on rose cones, all right? So this is obviously my rose cone mold here, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to follow the directions, or in the book, you're going to follow the directions for an all-in-one cone. So what you'll do is you'll take a, uh, me, this is a, a large cone, so you're going to take an 18-gauge green wire, or white wire, wrap half with floral tape 10 times, make a hook and then go around 20 times, uh, like this, okay? And then what you'll actually do is you'll do the all-in-one cone, which means you're going to measure a number 13 small ball of paste, and then um, for the large cone, and then what you actually do is you're going to take the, obviously this will be more of a cone shape, you rotate it into the mold, like you'll see on the videos, you rotate this, and then all I then do is I just chop off the top of the cone. And then, of course, so you create a ball, okay? This is also the same technique I um, showed for the, uh, for the quick peony as well, for making the buds on the quick peony. And for actually the center of the quick peony, I made these. So um, just like the cones, so generally speaking, you would make these two uh, at the same time and then let them both dry, okay? So ideally, you know, leave them overnight to dry and then you're gonna use that for your bud. Now, when you, do, when you, you do the bud, you do exactly the same. You're gonna do six petals. Okay, so you're gonna do six petals onto here. So I'm just going to show you the last two because it's really exactly the same as the larger cone. I've just got these in little bags so this just helps to, to remember heavy vein side goes goes down here. All right so it's the heavy vein side down and you're going to take your and so um, I've already got um, four of the pedals on. Now the difference is here, these are the first two pedals there. They actually start directly at the wire because this is only basically approximately about one inch, if uh, about two and a half centimeters, whereas obviously the large one is about, um, is obviously a lot bigger, okay? So you're gonna put one here and one there, and then you'll put in the last, then you'll put two this side and two this side. So here, all of them, when you put them on, start at the wire. So you just, what I normally do here, is I just hold the tip of the pedal and you're just gonna just scrunch that on and almost just push that up like that. And you see how this is going to, so you see how you're gonna create the little pleats like that and you're gonna get your nice shape on your bud, all right? So you just sort of squash that up and this is how you would create the peony bud. So this will have a calyx on a little bit later, okay? And uh, that will be ready for uh, coloring and finishing off. And this bud is also the same way you would make oriental peonies because I actually have 
Um, in this new series of Flower Pro videos or YouTube, um, I have three different peony instructions. I have one for a quick peony, which is made with my five petal uh, rose blossom cutter. I have also the oriental style peony, which is all totally wired petals. And then this is the classic peony, which is a combination of wired and unwired petals, okay? But uh, so as I said, if you're making buds for any three of the flowers, but especially for the oriental and classic peony, you'd use this technique here. Now we're going to move on to the medium sized petals, all right, which you repeat in exactly the same way. So this is the medium size here. And these are going to be uh, number eight small size, okay? So this is going to be number eight small. Um, and this would be done in exactly the same way. And then these, you actually just need five of these, okay? And um, I've got these pre, pre made. So again, heavy vein side, all right? So you're just going to turn this over. There we go. Two. And the. Um, Three, so four, and five. You'll notice the veining a little bit more on the bigger petals because obviously you're using the full and the actual veining becomes a little bit heavier, especially in the bigger size petals, okay? And uh, so now we're going to take the, we're going to take a couple of petals at a time. So again, we're going to just brush the egg white. So just going to brush down. Here I'm going to go about halfway down. So I'm just going to do it like three lines, okay? And then you're going to now put these petals on. And so these petals will just sort of start in a gap, okay? So it doesn't matter where you start, so I'm just going to sort of start in a gap here. And you're going to put this petal on, so it's going to become about level with the, with the, uh, the top here. It's still not going to go quite the way down to the bottom. And again, you're just going to just push this on like that. And you're going to take then the second one, which will overlap just very slightly. All right. And it's going to go on to here as well. So these first two layers are going to be pretty much the same in that you're putting the heavier vein inside on the outside because we want to see the heavy vein in on the outside of the ball, okay? When we move on to the other petals, because they're going to be opened out more, and the wide petals, the heavy vein will be on the inside because as the flower opens, you want to sort of see the heavier vein in, okay? And then you're just going to put on the third one. So this will be the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. But just use a little bit of glue as needed. So this will be your fourth one here. Okay, and then the fifth one will go on like this. So we're going to just put the fifth one on. And the fifth one will actually tuck underneath the first one, all right? So pedal number one, which is going to be here, just tucks on the top so you create this like a sort of a spiral, okay? I'm just gonna just sort of squash these petals on because you wanna create this nice tight center of the, of the peony, okay? I'm just gonna just, uh, just make sure you press these on. What I normally do is just put it between my hand like that. You see, you see how you can actually like almost just scrunch that up. That's gonna create your nice, see your nice sort of peony center. So of course, if you were, um, if you were gonna want to make like a whole spray of peonies for a wedding cake, if you just at this point, you just almost like just squash, squash the paste, there's enough thickness there that you're covering over the ball. You can actually make that as a sort of like a, a sort of a bud, of, like a larger bud basically, all right? So now what we're gonna do is gonna move on to using a nine small size, which is going to be the large size petal, which will be this size here, okay? So with the nine small size, okay, with this one here, you're gonna use exactly the same technique. And then what you'll actually do there is you'll take You'll cut off 10, you'll cut off here um, about 10 millimeters off the end, okay? So when you actually take that out of the mold, you're gonna cut off on the end of this about 10 millimeters, okay? So which we've already done here. So you just literally cut off that part. And what that means is that we're going to make like almost an in-between petal size, all right? Uh, between the medium and the large. Now, so what we do here is we're going to now just do some little pleats on there. So you're almost gonna make like little, um, like a little box pleat and you're going to do this with the heavy vein side up. So you're just going to make like little tiny pleats here. And see, I'm just going to just pinch that with my fingers. Now I use this technique quite a lot on flowers because we have, with this, within this set, there are four, obviously four uh, sizes of petal. Okay, but we want, this flower has a lot of, um, a lot of uh, petals on it. But the thing is, we want to end up with uh, the petals so they're not all, they're not too big. So... So we're actually using the large size, but cutting down. So it almost gives you an intermediate size. 
Now on these petals, all right, we actually are going to put the um, egg white or the glue on the heavy side, okay? So again, you're just gonna sort of brush the here about halfway down the petals. One, two, three. And if you work fairly fast, you can obviously just do all five of these petals at the same time. Now these petals are gonna go on and uh, what we're gonna do here is gonna just sort of take the petal. All right, so this wants to go again about level, okay? Just gonna just pleat this and this will go on to here like this. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna just sort of tuck the petals under. So now we're gonna start this sort of tucking underneath, okay? So we're just gonna tuck underneath this next one. Because these petals will have a little bit of foam underneath them, so they're gonna be, these will be a little bit more. So you see the egg white side is gonna go down on these. And see, so you're creating this sort of ball shape, okay? Now, of course, using a, um, using a uh, paste cone, this is going to be a little bit heavier than, a say, a styrene cone or styrofoam cone. But uh, you can use styrofoam cones you'd buy at a craft supply store. And uh, there you uh, generally would use a, a set like a, a, a one and a half inch size on that. So you see how you create this sort of, this almost like a sort of spiral, you see? So you can see how the, the like the left hand side of each petal, so as we're looking at it, the left hand side will come over the top like like that. So you see left left hand side, left hand side, left hand side, like that. And again, each time you do this, you're gonna create this sort of, uh, you know, like this obviously like cabbage style. Okay, and then we're going to hang this. So using, uh, we're gonna use a, like a large hanger, so you just would hang this, um, so that as you do the each layers, all right? So it's gonna just sort of hang on the hanger here. Now then we're going to then move on to the next layer, which is actually the last layer of the unwired one. So this is gonna be the, the same, same size uh, here. This will be the large size one, okay? So small, medium, large. So this is gonna be the number nine small, but then these ones haven't been cut down, okay? So you actually have so you have six of the small size, all right, so six small size, so you've got like two on, then two and two, and then you have five of the um, medium size, then you actually have 10 of the large size, remember this is all gonna be in your instructions and in the book, but 10 of the large size, uh, five of them you're gonna cut 10 millimeters off the bottom, and then the other five will just be as is. Now the, the peony is gonna now start to sort of open out, okay, so we're going to take your, so again, these petals here, so you see how we're going to place these petals on like this. We're going to put the egg white down here. So about halfway down. And you could also do like what I'm showing you is um, you could actually build or have all your petals made in little Ziploc bags or pack bags and then you can just attach them. So then this one here, all right, so these ones are going to go on. So these will actually, uh, they will start at the where the wire is, okay? So because these are these are obviously not cut down, okay? So you're gonna just tuck this on here, all right? And then you're going to then, pedal number two is gonna tuck inside pedal number one. Okay, you're gonna just mold this on. So remember the heavier side on these ones is gonna be, you'll see in the inside, because as the peony opens, this will be the third pedal here. Okay, and then you're going to have the fourth petal and then the fifth petal. And then we're going to put some sponge pieces underneath these outside petals, okay? And then we're going to move on to the... Okay, so you see how you're just going to mold this around the bottom. Remember how I showed you, just go through your finger like this. You see, so you hold it on your hands. You see how this is going to start to now open up, all right? And then you're going to... Uh, what we're going to do is going to take some sponge pieces. So we're going to take some, uh, just some sort of sponge pieces like this, just fairly small, okay? And then you're just going to put some sponge pieces just underneath those outside petals, okay? And you can, you can do this under the sort of the outside two layers, okay? So the easiest way to do this is just to take your, so again, hold this like an ice cream cone. And you can see how you have the, the petals here. So you can just sort of open this out. So this will be your sort of spiral. And then what you're gonna do here is gonna just take a little piece of sponge 
and you're going to just tuck this into the into the pedals here. So this is going to go into the this will go into that sort of layer that's been cut down. Okay. So the third one is going to come here. Sometimes you get a little bit of static on your phone, which is uh, I'm using here beading tweezers. These are silicone tip tweezers. Um, here. So it's going to give you the, so the pedals here, okay? So one pedal, two pedals. This is a, this one here, and then um, you know just put that underneath your your pedals there, okay? And then you're going to take your turn the flower upside down, and hopefully the foam pieces will stay in place. And then you're going to now take. So you see what I'm doing now is I'm going to put foam pieces underneath. So you know, when you watch my YouTube for my flower pro on my roses, this is very much like when I do my roses. You want to do this with the flower in the upside down position, all right? And uh, so you can see how your foam pieces are in there like that, okay? And then you're going to put that to, to dry. So now we're going to move on to make the wired petals. So wired petals will be made obviously in the mat with the back and just really you just do exactly the same as I've just shown. But if you pop over to my uh, YouTube on the Oriental Peony, I actually have sort of show how to do the wired version of that. And of course the only difference between these are the Oriental Peonies which are pale pink and we're using just a brighter pink here. And once you have made these, now with the production work you're going to be making 10 of the 10 of the large size petals, which will be this size here, wired. All right, so that will be like this size. And obviously when they're colored, I've already done some of the color and these are obviously done in the brighter pink. They will be uh, like this. These are actually dried um, in the um, former here. This is just in a crepe foam former. So you just would do the 10 of those into a crepe foam former to dry. And then the extra large size one, we're gonna make five of these, but just like on the Oriental Peony, you could make 10 of these or you could make 15 of these because all peonies start off the same way, but you just be, the bigger the flower you want, the more petals you have. So especially these outside petals, as I talk about on the Oriental Peony, on the Oriental Peony, I show 10 outside petals with the extra large size, but you could also do 15 or 20, you know, and it's the same with this one. We're gonna just do five, but we could do 10 or 15 or 20. And, um, these are obviously go on a 24 gauge wire and that's all in your instructions in your packaging. And then these would be dried into a, uh, this is about a six centimeter egg uh, former, which I talk about on the Oriental Peony. So you could just dry these to dry in the egg former. So we now need to let everything dry. So we need to obviously let the, um, this part of the flower dry. We need to obviously let the petals dry. And then we're gonna come back once they're dry and uh, show you the coloring. Um, then also um, the calyx on those, okay? So I'll see you in a moment. So now we're gonna move on to the next stage of the peony. So obviously we've dried our flower upside down, our petals have dried. So now we're gonna tape those. So we're gonna just tape these with half width floral tape. I'm gonna tape down about approximately two and a half centimeters, about one inch down the stem. I'm going to use on this one a bright pink, a fuchsia. So I'm gonna take a fuchsia color here and then I'm going to put some fuchsia onto here. And then once we get the fuchsia, so very similar to like the parrot tulip or the oriental um, peony, we're going to just brush the fuchsia color around the edge. I'm going to do this front and back. And then we're going to then cut in with the brush. So we're going to do these sort of stripes so you're going to come from the top coming down. So usually, you know, four or five stripes. Of course, on the smaller petals, usually uh, two or three stripes. And then we're going to just do some, see the color comes down from the outside to the inside here. And then you would do that obviously on all of the petals. So we've got 10, remember, large size petals. So we've got 10 of this size, and then we have five extra large, but remember, you could make this with 10 or 15 extra large, depending on how big you want the flower, how open, okay? Um, on the bud, it would be done in exactly the same, and on the flower as well, to the flower center. All right, so again, you're just gonna do these sort of stripes on your flower center, like this. You're gonna get this sort of stronger pink uh, in stripes onto this. Now then you're going to take your green, so we're gonna use prairie green, which is a soft green here. So with prairie, Going to put some prairie green and then we're going to brush this in a stripe. So 
So just like on the Parrot Tulips or the other um, peony, the Oriental peony, I'm going to do three stripes of green on the front and three stripes of green on the back. So you're going to just have this like one, two, three, one, two, three. So a nice subtle color. And on the flower as well, so you're just going to just do, on the flower, just, just do like two or three stripes. So you're just going to do stripes around uh, the bottom here, okay? Now the bud, um, I've already done the bud and I've already got the calyx on, so again, that's exactly the same. So you're going to do the pink and then you're going to just brush up from the bud, from the bottom here. Um, this is done, it was done after the calyx is on here. On the flower, you're going to put the calyx on and then you generally dust this, okay? But you could also dust the bud, then put the calyx on, whichever is more convenient, okay? I'm going to show you the... And then um, once we've done that, we're going to move on to the assembly, okay? So when we assemble the flowers, so we're going to start off first of all with the smaller petals. So these are the 10 small size petals here. So if you watch the, um, the other two peony uh, tutorials, um, obviously the um, oriental peony has actually 25, 30 or 35 wired petals. Uh, this peony here has, obviously you've got petals which are built on to create the first part of the peony, and then you're going to then start to, to put these on. Now, when you put these petals on, so if you were to put the petal right there, you see how it really like opens up. So when you put the first petals on, what we're actually gonna do here we're just going to keep the wire straight, and then I'm actually going to have a little bit of a gap. You can see a little tiny gap here between the bottom of the flower and the uh, bottom of the wire. You see, so that that means that the petal will will sort of uh, go in at an angle. All right, um, and this is because we want the flower to not have that sort of big di diversion between the inner petals and the outer ones. So you see how you're almost going to have like a little cavity here. All right, and then you're going to do the third one. So you see how this is going to sort of sit on to make the petals. So the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. You see how it's going to give you the, the shape here. But we use this, uh, this technique I use a lot, but it's just that if you found that it, because if you actually bend the petals and you put them directly at the bottom, it's just going to be suddenly too open. You see how you're just going to take these petals now and you're going to put these now because this will all disappear when we get the rest of the petals on, you see? So you can see there's actually like a little bit of a sort of a gap between there. Um, so this will give you your, so this will give you the first five and then we're going to do another five of these petals here. And then these petals will go on to here. So the same same technique, so two, and then three, four, five. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than the uh, oriental style peony because this peony is, of course, has a, if you're going to use the, the way I showed you, this is going to have a, uh, a um, paste ball of paste, so that's obviously going to make it a little bit sort of uh, heavier, but you can also remember, make the center out of uh, styrene ball. So you're just going to put these petals on like this and then we can then take the remaining five petals which are going to be the larger ones and these ones are actually going to sort of just bend slightly at the bottom and you see they will actually sort of sit sort of sit right into there like so you see so you're going to have this sort of like almost a cavity in there like a cage but you actually really won't see that because once these petals are on and then also once you get a calyx on there that is going to hold this all into place, okay? So you're just going to put on the second one, and then the third one. So this is going to be here, so then I'm just going to put this on here, and then the fourth and the fifth one, okay? But again, you can take this to whatever stage you want this to be, you know, so depending on how big the cake is, you can put this on uh, to obviously whatever level you want. So I'm showing both the peonies fairly large, okay? But uh, of course you could make this a lot um, smaller just by, you could just do 10, the 10 um, large size petals, or you of course can uh, add the, even if you wanted to make it fuller, you can obviously uh, add another five or another 10 of the uh, extra large size ones. So you're just gonna just tape down 
here. And just going to take down to the bottom here, like that. Again, you're just going to just check your positioning of your pedals, all right? So it's going to give you a sort of peony. And then we're going to take your um, calyx. Now, if you, uh, if you haven't watched my quick peony, all right? So on the quick peony, I show how to make a calyx. So this is actually made, so you can watch this tutorial. It's on the quick peony. This is green paste number three thickness on the pasta machine, cut out with my Pro Cut. Uh, cutter, the 70 millimeter size one, cut in half, then each of the two halves, uh, full ones are cut in half again, so you get two calyxes per, and then I've just uh, widened it on the pad, and then I've put it on to, uh, just trimmed off the edges, and this is a great way to make a very uh, nice calyx for um, peony buds or for peony flowers, so you can see here obviously on my uh, peony um, bud there. So a different shape to a rose calyx, it's a sort of more natural shape and uh, you can use a blossom cutter which is the sort of way a lot of people make peonies um, and is the way I used to make peony calyxes but I found this works really really well. So what you do here is just going to put this on, just sort of open this out a little bit and then I'm going to just put some egg white onto here. So just going to put some egg white and again this is going to just be used for the, for the peony. Okay, so it's going to just take this, it's going to put this through, so it's going to go through the cosmetic sponge here, I'm going to bring this up, it's going to just come around, and what you actually do here is you're going to just sort of take this around, so you see how you're actually just going to position this, so you're going to put each, this is going to go on the, on the, these outside pedals here, like that, and then you're going to press this on, so three, four, and this will be my last one here. I'm just going to move this across a little bit. So this will be my fifth one. Okay. And just going to then just press this down. Okay. Just going to press this down. So on the flower, this is actually going to sort of sit on the on each of the pedals and it's going to be fitted like this. Okay. So this is going to be fitted like this. So this will give you the calyx. And then what you would do is on the bud, so when you do it on the bud, you're of course going to you only brush the egg white about two thirds the way up on the bud and you peel it back a little bit, all right? So it's basically fitted, so you pretty much put the egg white all over. But you see, you can't sort of see the interior part of this because the calyx, and plus once it's dry, the calyx is going to um, hold this. Now typically at this point, I would then take my uh, peony and I would normally just hang this upside down. So just hang this upside down and then let it dry, okay? And then once it's dry, then you would come back and you'd use a little bit of foliage green, which is a darker green. I'm going to show you that now. But as it normally you'd let this dry. And then you're just going to put a little bit of the foliage green, which is this darker green, just sort of around the edge of the peony. And of course you can, you can add leaves to this. And um, I'm going to have, we have a separate um, video of how to make the peony leaves, which is made in my new peony and I've already done that on the bud and then what you would do here is at this point you would then go into just steam it but of course as I said you let this dry a little bit first I'm just going to steam it just to sort of show you how that enhances it and then you would uh, but just leave this to hang upside down because what will happen is if not the, we want the calyx to dry to hold the paddles to hold everything together and then you would just would gently steam this so just bring in my steamer here there we go. So just gonna just, just gently steam your peony here. Just gonna just gonna gently steam the back of it. Okay, and then on the bud, we're going to again just steam the bud. I've already put the foliage green onto that. So this will just enhance this. And um, so this is gonna give you your obviously your beautiful uh, peony. All right. So obviously you have the the beautiful peony and the peony bud. But remember, as I said, you can make this with um, obviously we could add another five of the extra large petals or another ten of the extra large petals. So if you, as I said, watch the Oriental Peony, on the Oriental Peony I used actually ten of the extra large size. So really as I said, there are options on size of cake. But of course this is a huge flower, so if you wanted to make a smaller flower you could just make literally like five wide large petals or ten large petals, and so your Peony would be that sort of size, okay? So, um, but it depends on really, as I said, scale or size of your cake. So so that is going to be your peony, um, and I uh, said little, uh, 
you know, obviously we're going to be putting these together onto a cake. So we have a totally separate um, tutorial, a video tutorial YouTube, uh, which is going to be sort of finishing touches and putting flowers onto cakes. So all of the new um, Flower Pro products, all of the new, like the Lily, the Calla Lily, all of those I will be showing how we would actually use those onto cakes. Uh, we've had feedback from our Facebook group, have asked about, you know, putting flowers, arranging flowers onto cakes. So I'm gonna just show you some different options for some fun ways to present your flowers to your client. Um, so um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you again real soon.